heck? Where do we even stop in that part? Kia ora and welcome back. My name is Zoe Stibi, your vocal coach for today. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Renee Rapp and Jennifer Hudson with Dangerously in Love. Let's see what they're up to with their vocal technique. Oh my God, I get to sing. Baby, I love you. You are my life. My happiest moments were complete if you weren't by my side. You're my relation and connection to the sun. You next to me, there's no darkness I can overcome. You are my raindrops, I am the sea. You and God, who's my sunlight, I'm blooming, grown so beautifully. Okay, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to the start of Renee. I'm loving the way that Jennifer Hudson is using that thicker vocal fold sound and going breathy. And I, I don't know the song actually at all. Destiny's Child. Oh, I have to have a look at it later. But you've got the ah, ah, using that aspirate offset in order to reach that. Oh, it's just like such a lovely warm sound, isn't it? Let's just go back to the start of that song. Oh my God, I get to sing. Baby, I love you. You are my life. My happiest moments were complete if you weren't by my side. You're my relation and connection to the sun. You next to me, there's no darkness I can overcome. You did you see there as well? She go, she go, uh, you are the sun. And she kind of did a little bit of a wobble there at the end. Now, vibrato and wobble, mm, sort of like kind of one and the same. But we're looking at that idea of that the larynx is actually shaking with the vibrations of the vocal folds. Almost like the way that you throw a pebble into water and it ripples. That's the same sort of thing with the vocal folds when they're swinging or when they're vibrating. They're not really vibrating. They're like undulating together. Those sympathetic vibrations going out are going to, if we allow it to, they're going to shake the larynx to create that vibrato. You can see there as well, let's just go back on, on Jennifer's bit because she was doing the, you are the sun. She's going quite uh, vowels, quite open. Sounds great, but it's just a decision if you wanted to make it. You can change the vowels to change the quality. Hello. Okay, here we go. Baby, I love you. You are my life. My happiest moments were complete if you weren't by my side. You're my relation and connection to the sun. You next to me, there's no darkness I can overcome. You I know, I know, I keep stopping at the beginning of Renee, sorry. But you can see that she's going little short, sharp high breaths. Perfect for singing pop music. We don't want to like release into the lower part of the lungs. It's just like we don't need all of that air to sing in this vocal quality. And it's just, you can see the, you are my, my life. And when they decide to start singing, you see both of them kind of like sitting up a little bit extra. Because although it doesn't really matter if we're sitting or standing for singing, because there are plenty of people that sit behind a piano or sit and play the guitar and sing at the same time. But it's just that like sitting up straight is going to allow us to be able to use those breathing muscles a little bit easier. And we're also going to have more support through that, those back muscles in order to create the sound. Oh, sorry, let's go to Renee. No darkness I can overcome. You are my raindrops. I am the sea. You and God who's my sunlight. I'm blooming, grown so beautifully. Baby, I'm so proud, so proud to be your girl. You made the confusion go all the way from this cold and misty world. I am in love with you. You set me free. I can't do this thing called life without you, you and me. Cause I'm dangerously in love with you. I never leave. Just keep loving me the way I love you, loving me. Cause I am in love Sing with you. You set me free. I can't do
fuck, where, can, where do we even stop in that part? Yeah, oh God, I should have stopped after Renee did her first bit. Right, depending on where you are and depending on like what type of, um, hmm, what era you were born in, like with the, the style of the belt that we're looking for, um, Jennifer Hudson has more of that gospel belt. She's got more of that squall in the sound, a little bit of twang, that, so, ah, she's, She's tightening the back of the throat in order to get that, that eh, sort of, look, I, I'm not saying that that's what she's doing, that eh, but that's the type of technique that she's using. That amazingly, or whatever the words are, tightening the back of the throat is going to allow you to get, it's going to like brighten the sound as well and like sound, you know, she's like taking us to church in that moment. Now we're going to go to Renee again and you're going to hear it's a slightly darker timbre. She doesn't have as much of the twang in the sound. Or that squall. To me, there's no darkness I can overcome. You are my raindrops, I am the sea. You and God, who's my son, I'm blooming, grown so beautifully. Baby, I'm so proud. So yeah, do you can see this You to dance to me. She's got kind of like a slightly darker timbre to her sound. Now, again, it's like the same key, same notes, but Jennifer's sounding a little bit, little bit higher because of that squeeze going on. And look, I, I say this, this is like how I would teach someone to create these sounds. I'm not in Jennifer's mouth, like, okay. Um, but when Renee is singing, we've you've also got like, You've got great sound engineers behind the cam behind those microphones as well. But you know, she's got the microphone really, really close. I'm assuming she's not actually singing that loud when she's when she's going into this quality, letting the microphone work for her. You can see Jennifer's like quite pulling the microphone. We do know that she has a really loud voice as well. Oh, so beautifully, baby, I'm so proud, so proud to be your girl. You made the confusion go all the way from this cold and misty. Jennifer would be in a, I am in love with, and she'll be there with you. And it kind of went quite tight at the top there. Again, this is not bad or good. I'm just kind of commenting on what's going on. And then when, when Renee went up, she I am in love with you. For me, personally, in my ears, that is like a little bit more Broadway. And you notice as well that 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 Jennifer has a slightly more of a wider mouth position. Now, you don't necessarily have to sing that way, but it's not bad or good or whatever like that. It's just going to help. Like it is actually going to help you a little bit. We don't want to over open, um, but we do want more of that eh kind of sound when we are going in a contemporary belt uh, higher in the range. Let me free. I can't do this thing alive without you here with me because I'm dangerously in love with you. I'll never leave. Just keep loving me the way you Love it. Oh my goodness me, when she went, Eee. Let's just go back to that. <laughs> I need to go away and learn that. Now, if my singers watch this video, they know what they're going to be working on. I have so many people wanting to work on uh, riffs and runs and working on specific exercises. Actually, uh, a little quick tip. If you're looking to work on your riffs and runs, so that was a riff where we're singing more than one note, or actually I would say a sequence of notes, like more than three notes on one syllable. So she did, or whatever she did. Um, 
that would be a riff. If you're looking to work on those, work on like specific riffs and runs. So I'm, so, she actually just did a, ah, she did the same sequence of notes twice. It's not always about, about like being the most inventive when it comes to riffs and runs. It's about copy and pasting all these riffs and runs that you do know, and then just recycling them every time. Uh, it sounds super, I mean, obviously she's an amazing singer and she's done the, the you know, she's done this many, many, many times, but I love that she went there. And you saw that, that uh, more of that wider mouth position. We're using almost the tension in the tongue in order to like pitch the sound. We want to reduce the volume because that way we're not going to be like going ah, and blowing all of that air. But again, we're using the tongue tension. Check out my free singing lesson available in the description below to check out the tongue. And with that, ah, we want quite a decent amount of tension in the tongue in order to hit those notes. But ah, that was stunning. I love it. And did you notice as well that Jennifer kind of like leaned back when she got to the end of that song? I really love to use this, especially with singers. I have a, a chair in my studio as well. I get them to, you know, in those kind of more relaxed passages, just to lean back, to really feel that relaxation so that we're not overworking all the time because that be, can be a really common mistake with singers. I love it. I absolutely love both these singers. Let me know down in the comments who you would like me to have a look at next. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button so that we can hang out more often to look at some more vocal technique. I'll see you around here next time and have an awesome rest of the day. Kaki channel.